Now, what I've done is in order to put the camera in place, remember this part, I just wrapped it in uh, tape so I don't mess it up with the glue. Um, and then I cut this one from another ABS plastic. Um, so I just shaped it the way that this one will, will slide all the way here. And then this one will come here. You won't be able to see from there, but I have measured exactly how deep and where to position it. So you can um, you can see how it goes. So it will be like a rail where the camera will slide in. So I just have to apply some glue. This is my well done. ABS cement that I'm using, 773 I guess. Um, this is not the only one that can be used. I just picked that one that was available at the store. Um, so with that said, I'll just go ahead and apply some glue. With that said, what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to seal it with a glue. You can see how it's sealed now. See, this is totally sealed. There is no chance for water to go through there. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to put the the glass. So for that purpose, I'll make sure it's aligned properly. And I will apply some of the glue force here on the edge, but just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna apply some part this side has to be applied. Okay. 
Okay. Okay guys, this is one day after we glued the, the rail and the, the glass, it's a plexiglass actually, uh, there is no scratch on it, it's just uh, dusty and will be cleaned. Um, now in addition to that, I glued one more thing and this is uh, just because of the way my setup is. Uh, remember that thing that slides here in the rails? Well, I put this thing. I hope you can hear it. It's uh, wavy. So what it does is when I get the camera and I stick it in, it prevents the camera from moving back. So you can hear the the click so this way it doesn't come back and it just it sits tight now my camera sits a little bit to the uh, right because uh, this is how the camera mount is on the bottom of the uh, camera although I have put the mount perfectly center to the case and uh, this is where it as you can see it's uh, the cap uh, it's almost touching the, the glass this is my wide lens cap and I want to make sure it, it will fit with wide lenses because this is what I'm planning to use for the underwater since I cannot really see what I'm filming I prefer to use wide lenses under that although I have um, this here but it will be totally closed so I will not be able to to see it so this this is a very 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 tight fit now the next step will be to submerge this thing for a while and to see how it will perform underwater but I invented to test it so this is a um, trash can but it's deep so I'll use that because I don't have anything else appropriate. So I'll just uh, stick up some weight so I can really keep it at the bottom. And as you can see, there are some bubbles from the... This is from the handle. They are not actually from the case. But there is nothing really coming out from the case. So I'll just position this one. I get the bottom with some weight and then we'll come back and check it out in a while okay I just came up with something very drastic uh, it may look funny but it works so what it is is a big rock um, that is pushing down the camera so the, uh, the casing so the whole thing stays at the bottom it touches the bottom so this is pretty safe, no bubbles, nothing. But I'll leave it here at least for a couple of hours, depending on my availability. So I'll come back and check 
and I'll record the findings either um, this evening later today or uh, tomorrow. So, and I'll also tell you for how long it has been underwater. Okay, guys, so this is practically 24 hours later. Last night it was too dark when I came back, so I didn't want to touch it. And this is the next day when I came back from work, the next day afternoon. So it's practically this case has been submerged for 24 hours. So I'll take it out. I have to use my two hands though. I'll take it out and then, actually I can try doing it with one hand. And then I'll leave it just for a little bit to, uh, for the water to to dry, we'll wipe it and then we're gonna open it and see how it's doing inside. Okay, so let me try to take it out. Doesn't, doesn't look like there is any water in it. But we will check in a little bit. I'll just leave it so it can. Like, uh, I have put uh, like a uh, paper towel in front, in the back, like inside, so I can see if it gets wet from the moisture. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'll just uh, put it here in the sun. Okay, so this is the moment of the truth. It's pretty much uh, dry. So let's see what do we have got. Okay, it's totally dry on this side. I put this in just and. It is totally dry on this side too. So without the experiment is done, we can really take this. The fact that it has been underwater for like 24 hours. To me that's good enough to take it for scuba diving or for uh, snorkeling. So that's all folks.